Somali culture and the Somali language is all about storytelling because it was actually a language that was not even written down until 1973. So a lot of it was oral language. So a lot of it was passed down from generations to generations, which has also meant that actually the power of the language is being able to tell a good story. Because if you tell a good story, it sticks in people's minds, and actually you then go on to passing down to generations after generations after generations. So a lot of the language, for example, is based on proverbs and sayings and poetry. And actually, without realizing when I learned English, which was my third language, you pick this up and you then end up translating it into English. And in many ways, being a barrister and being in court, you are a storyteller because you are arguing a particular side's point of view and the other, your opponent is arguing another particular argument against you and ultimately the, the person who wins is the person who has applied the law in a compelling way to make it clear, to make it cogent and to make it convincing. And so whilst the law is there, the facts are human. The facts of the case belong to an individual. The set of circumstances arise out of a human interaction that might have gone wrong in the case of a commercial litigation. And so you have to be able to approach each case, not only applying the principles of the law, but actually also weaving it together in a way that is telling a compelling case and a compelling story that is then communicated either to a jury or to a judge. And I think undoubtedly being able to speak multiple languages and being able to speak Somali at a very young age and being raised by a grandmother who always told stories in the most vivid way has massively helped, I think. And some of it has also come through in my BBC work in that I know, especially in my BBC work, I know as a Radio 4 presenter, radio is critical that you tell the stories well. You don't have any visuals. So you have sounds and you have your words. Your words have to be crafted well to tell a compelling story because that listener needs you to communicate with them. That listener needs to have that relationship with you so your voice and the words that you use is the relationship that you have with that listener. And how you use your voice and the words is also critical because you need to use those words that you have and the voice that you carry in a compelling way by telling this story which then leaves somebody listening I know this person I understand this person I've understood this story and I think undoubtedly my upbringing will have had a crucial part to play